story of the movies, season 2, episode 47. Today, we are back. It is time for back-to-back release, as of this recording, almost half of Horror Month 2 episodes have been released. But in today's episode, I have covered every movie in this franchise except the third one because that does not count but it's time for a beginning and an end of the franchise for good I will cover the new timeline of Halloween that is four movies in this episode Halloween Halloween 2018 Halloween kills and Halloween ends let's begin with what it started what's what started it all Halloween original came out in 1978 a movie that I still love to this day little Michael Myers takes a knife and kills his sister not knowing it because he is wearing a mask when doing it so his parents send him to an insane asylum so so he waits until he is free until he finds out he has another sister named Lori Strode. He tries to kill her but is saved by Dr. Loomis, who is the doctor for Michael. And then would follow into the second Halloween film, Halloween 2, but that is not this timeline as the next film on this timeline the 2018 direct sequel which takes place 40 years later after the events of the original but in this timeline Lori raised a daughter and a granddaughter to protect as Michael has waited a very long time to strike again As he escapes the same insane asylum when the prisoners are on a bus, Michael breaks free. As he goes for Michael, he breaks free and wears his mask once again, going for Lori. But Lori was ready for him this time as Lori Strode and her family get out in time to let Michael burn. But this would be factored into Halloween Kills as Halloween Kills is also the only film in the series to have an extended cut which had an alternate ending but firefighters rush to see if there are any survivors in the house fire as Michael is still alive somehow and kills all the firefighters this movie is also known as the worst film in the series, but also had an alternate ending. So Michael does end up killing a lot of people in this one, but in the alternate ending, Lori calls her daughter, but only hears Michael breathing. As this story is concluded in the final film in the series, Halloween ends, but Kills takes place in 2020 because of the four-year time jump but the final film takes place four years after the events of kills as Lori lives with her granddaughter Allison as as on the same night on that takes place on Halloween in Halloween kills A babysitter named Corey babysits a kid, Jeremy, and pulls a prank on Corey. And Corey tries getting out of the room and ends up breaking the lock on the door and accidentally kills the kid. Well, accidentally kills Jeremy and is known as the new killer of Haddonfield. And people start to die. And... It is not because of Corey, because people think Michael has come back, and then the four-year time jump happens. 
Corey's made fun of because of what he did on that night, and he wants to learn how to kill, and he learns from Michael, who let him live. But Corey also dates Allison, which is Lori's granddaughter. Anyone who makes Corey mad in this film, Corey kills them or leaves them to Michael. But Corey kills his bullies and many more people in Haddonfield. But Corey and Michael work together. But in the end, Corey gets shot at by Lori, but is but is not dead. As Michael finishes Corey himself, Lori and Michael have one last final fight against each other. Lori manages to kill Michael after 30 years. Lori and the people of Haddonfield watch as Lori decomposes of Michael's body in a garbage shredder. Lori ends up finishing her book about Michael and her experience. We see Lori talk to Frank and the credits roll. This was a nice ending to the franchise, but it's mm, the last movie for a while. Next time on Story of the Movies Season 2, we return in November with episode 48 and 49, and then in December with the final five episodes for the year in December. Until next time, listeners, stay safe and peace. This is Ron, signing off.